I'm a creative, bro. Making constant, constant, constant videos, which is, I'm not complaining. I didn't really know it was gonna be like this for so long. Okay, cool. What do I need to do in order to fix that situation? And that's what this is. And uh, I just hope y'all continue to support me, man. I appreciate all y'all so much. And uh, you know, thank y'all for rocking with me to this point. If you gotta go, you gotta go, I understand. All right, whoa, what's good, bros? My name is Flimlo Raps and major changes are upon us. Yo, please watch this entire video so that you can fully understand, bro. I'm gonna answer like 98.5% of any question that you could, pro you could possibly have. All right, so if I do miss something, I see something in the comment section that I did not answer, of course, I'm gonna answer it. Maybe I'll just respond back. I might make another video if it's a lot of stuff, but if you watch the whole video, you should have a really good understanding of exactly what's happening, why it's happening, and what's gonna happen going forward, okay? So, here we go. Now y'all know I'm into storytelling, so I'm gonna have to tell you this story because I just need to put it in context for you. I'm not gonna be too long. Listen to the story and it'll all make sense, I promise. Okay, a while back, man, years ago, six, seven years ago, I dropped out of college because I couldn't find a passion that I could pursue through the traditional education system. I landed at a sales job just to make money to finance my rap career. As you guys know, I'm a creative, I'm a storyteller, and at that time, rap seemed to be the only thing that was attainable for me to be able to use those talents that I was given. Funny thing is, I had just started to grow my hair right at that point, bro. And again, this is like seven years ago. But three months into the job, I got promoted to assistant manager and I cut my hair just to look more like a manager. I was already the youngest person working there. So I wanted to look more mature so people kind of take me serious. Now again, within three months promoted to manager, these were big stores, bro. We had million dollar quotas every month, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, like it was real. I had the manager's spot to send me to the bigger store and I did pretty good. I was the dude you call in to close your deal when you couldn't close your deal. Also, any customers tripping, you know, bring me in, I straighten them out quick. I know cats be talking crazy in the comments, but it's different in person, I promise. So anyway, I do this for a while, then I step down from manager just because it's too stressful. I stepped back down to a regular salesperson, but I'm so good at this job and I've learned so much from doing the management thing, I'm making more money as a regular salesperson than I was making as a manager. At this point, we had gotten new managers and they were very difficult to deal with for everyone except me. They did not bother me at all. I came to work late, hungover, I took extremely long lunches, and the reason they didn't bother me because every single month ever, I hit my number. I was gonna leave the store in sales, and in a commission-based job, it's performance-based, so the better you perform, a lot of times, the better you're treated at jobs like that. I performed great, I pretty much did whatever I wanted. I mean, I was the man at this place. I'm trying to paint this picture. Why? Because I walked away from it. I didn't feel fulfilled. I wanted to do more. I felt like I was wasting so many of my talents just doing this. And while I was making a good amount of money, I wasn't happy. So I learned something about myself. It's not about money with me. Of course, in this world, you gotta make money because that's the main resource that you need in order to live, to eat, to you know be comfortable. Even more so now that I have a family and other people who are dependent on me that I gotta take care of. But I learned that I was a man of principle and that finding purpose in my life and doing things that I think matter was important to me. Everybody thought I was crazy. I said I was gonna quit this job and come and do YouTube. So I quit the job, started my YouTube channel right then. Of course, I was making absolutely no money, but I had checks still kind of coming in from that commission job for a little while, a couple months, and then I needed to get another job. So I did, I put my resume up, people called me in for an interview, hired me the same day on another sales job. The difference was, I knew I was never staying at this job. This job was great, bro. It was like the perfect company, bro. But I already had my mindset on what I wanted to do. Okay, so I grind it every day. I got up early, I do my YouTube thing, then I go to work. If you know anything about commission sales, it's long, stupid hours, you know, every day. This is every day, bro. Weekends, it don't matter. Holidays, everything. Eventually, I got to the point where I just couldn't take it no more. I had gained 5,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel in about a year of working and grinding. I wasn't making enough yet off YouTube to pay my bills, but again with these commission jobs, once I quit, I know I'm gonna have at least 
two to three more checks coming in and you have your app you keep up with all your stuff so you know exactly what you got coming so with that i did the math man i thought about it long and hard it was one of the hardest decisions i ever made in my life because my son was about to be born and so i, I was literally like i was so stressed out bro so stressed but it had to work like i just couldn't go back in that place ever again like i could not do it i left for my lunch break i never went back ever to this day coincidentally that day i quit sales is when i started back growing my hair again after all these years and i've never cut it since we're almost at a year during that first month after i quit i went from 5,000 subs to 10,000 subs how did i do it i worked my ass off i dropped two to three videos every single day and i would not ever let myself miss because guess what i made this choice i put my family in this situation I gotta make this work. It's gotta work. You know what I'm saying? And all of y'all that came through, especially in those early days, man, the support is so strong, bro. Man, thank y'all so much. We've always had a very, very strong, loyal base on this channel. So fast forward, finally, as I get to the point, sorry, I got that exact same feeling again for the first time since I knew I had to quit that good job for YouTube. I got it again, man. Like maybe two weeks ago. And it's not that I'm quitting YouTube. I'm not quitting YouTube at all. But I am going to be stopping my gaming content. Except the Flimlo Raptor series. That's gonna continue. We're gonna talk about it in a second. Also, I do intend to finish my stories, but not like the gaming stuff. So, Cash Cole, I'm gonna finish his story. TD2, his story you know all these people I plan to finish their story and what led me to this man I just really got I just really started to get burned out on making gaming videos I still love gaming you know I've taken a step back since I'm not making I haven't made a gaming video in like a week now but I, I think I just got burnt out man I've got over 1300 videos I've only been on YouTube for two years I've only been full-time for one year I have 13 that's 1300 videos on this channel that are currently public okay i still got my other channels i got videos i deleted videos that i never uploaded i've made a lot of videos and the majority of them the vast majority were gaming videos the vast majority of those were ncaa videos now ncaa is my game it is my claim to fame it is why the majority of y'all are here which is why the college football story videos which i'm loving by the way will like that's gonna be one of the main things on the channel going forward reason is because i really love digging in deep all across the internet taking all this information and piecing these puzzles together and then telling a cohesive story of these guys careers and i know that that also serves my core audience um because my core audience is NCAA fans, college football fans, and I know y'all really love that stuff. I feel fulfilled creatively doing those. I learn a ton doing them as well. And I feel like it really brings a lot of value and people enjoy those videos. Also, I don't have to pump out three to four of those per day just to try to grow my channel. We've actually been growing at a higher rate since I stopped uploading so much. And who knew, right? <laughs> I still plan to upload daily. Um, sometime on the weekends, I'm, I'm not a thousand percent sure. Like, I'm still working out the schedule, bro. This is brand new to me. I talked to my patrons about this first, probably like four or five days ago. Now, maybe like a week ago now. I don't know. Yeah, four or five days ago. And because I wanted to tell them first that I was going to be stopping the game and stuff. And uh, just to get their reaction. And I mold on that for a few more days before I announce it to everybody because those people contribute to the channel and you know I wanted to talk to them first because I'm like yo if I'm not gonna be doing these I'm not gonna be doing these videos so basically so you could cancel your support if you'd like I hope that you still rock with me here's my plans going forward but I just wanted to be upfront with those guys and I told them a few days back then I molded, I molded on it. I read their responses, which were all favorable. They were all really happy. A few of them said they barely even watch the game and stuff anymore and preferred the uh, the story videos and stuff like that. And that finally gave me the courage to say, okay, I'm gonna do this. Cause I didn't wanna announce it 
and then backpedal. I wanted to make sure this is what I wanted to do, whether good or bad, regardless to the outcome, regardless to if people unsubscribe, regardless, you know, I wanted to make sure I was solid with it, man. I talked it over with my girl and, um, you know, she supports me, bro. She supports me on everything, man. So, you know, much love to her. Like, she she always understand, you feel me? She understand where I be coming from and kind of how I am and how I'm wired. And, uh, you know, so that's what's up. But, um, yeah, that's what we are, man. So, as far as the Flimlo Raptors, I plan to continue that over on Twitch. I think that's going to be one of my main things on Twitch. But I like Twitch because it's all live stream. It's built for live streaming. Um, I've already got a few uh, paid subscribers over there anyway. And then I can play different games. Like I don't have to just play NC, but I'm gonna be doing the Flimlo Raptors joint over there uh, a couple to a few times per week. Also when Call of Duty come out, like all the stuff I like to play, I can just play all my games in one spot and people can come and rock with me. I've got so much planned, uh, like a few top tens, top fives, and different things like that so all kind of surrounding all revolving but yeah around college football and just keeping it real close to home and then maybe branching out to nfl nba stuff maybe we'll see but i got some really cool plans to do with my characters man that people came to know and love and it's funny i started checking my analytics well i never stopped checking my analytics i always check them like every day but i started noticing the watch times on the RTG videos especially go way down. And what I noticed was majority of people who watch the story and maybe a tad bit of the gameplay and keep it moving. And I'm like, well, if people like the story so much, why don't I, instead of spending that hour and a half putting the gaming part together, why don't I just put more time into the story itself, make it better, make it a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? So I want that to be coming down the pipeline as well. And the last thing, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a creative, bro. My name is Flimlo Raps. I haven't recorded a song in I don't know how long because my days are full, completely full of making constant, constant, constant videos, which is, I'm not complaining at all. Like, I'm not, it's not a complaint. Like, I'm just saying that was the issue and this is the solution. So please understand the difference. I'm not like blindly, oh, oh it's like, no, this is the situation I created, okay. I'm not loving the balance that I'm getting right now. I didn't really know it would be, I didn't really know it was gonna be like this for so long. Okay, cool. What do I need to do in order to fix that situation? And that's what this is. I definitely rambled here. So I probably didn't answer as many questions as I think I did. But um, I'm gonna edit this, man. And like I said, this will go up probably Tuesday, Wednesday. And uh, I hope all y'all still rocking with your boy. I hope y'all are enjoying the new content and uh, I just hope y'all continue to support me, man. I appreciate all y'all so much. And uh, you know, thank y'all for rocking with me to this point. If you gotta go, you gotta go, I understand. But a lot of people seem to be enjoying the new stuff. So, you know, that's the uh, direction we're gonna go in, man. Make sure you follow me on Twitter to find out when we're gonna be going live on the Raptors. I may take, the, I may take a few more days, maybe the rest of this week, from gaming before I go back into it. But when I do, I'll be announcing it on Twitch, man. Thank y'all so much, and I'll catch y'all next time. Flimlo Raps, 